One of the things you learn when you start studying what it means to be infinite is you realize there's actually different sizes of infinity. So for instance, the numbers, the counting numbers, 0, 1, 2, 3, etc., they go on forever. That's an infinite set. But then the real numbers, so if you include numbers with, you know, with decimal expansion, uh, the numbers that come out of your calculator, those are also, there are infinitely many of them. But it turns out that the size of the real numbers and the size of the counting numbers are actually different. And you might think, oh, well, that's just theoretical. It's, you know, what does it have to do with, with um, anything that I could possibly care about? Well, that insight, which is now um, 150 years old, is, uh, is, you know, now in the age of computation, it enables us to say some amazing things, right? Like, um, it turns out that the set of all computer programs you could ever write is the same size of infinity as the counting numbers. But the fact that the, the real numbers are a larger size of infinity means that there are some real numbers which can never, whose decimal expansion can never be computed as the output of a computer program. So we learn something about the limits of computation by knowing something about uh, the size of infinite sets. So that's kind of mind-blowing.